<laughs> Jones, Bobby Jones. Hey. What are we talking about? Welcome to what we talking about, guys. Can we cut the beat? My man. Yoo-hoo. Cut the beat, please. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what are we talking about, guys? Um, it's your boy Bobby Jones. And it's your girl, mm -hmm. Dina. We are, we are at Seaside, Oregon. Um, yes, do this podcast. I just found this uh, woman right here. She want to do a podcast. Please introduce your name. Just told y'all it's Dina. Dina Bobina. So, yes, you'll see me in the previous podcast. Oh, there's a bubble. What was that? It's a big bubble. But, yes, we are shooting here uh, from Seaside, Oregon. Lovely, lovely. Have you guys ever seen a podcast done at night? <laughs> Bonfire should I, should style? I turn the, uh, should I turn the heat up for you guys, the fire? Yes, it is. It is, it is pretty chilly. So C yes, Shire. turn up the. We in Seashell, Oregon. Ooh. Yeah, it's a, ooh, ooh, it's a little high there. I ain't trying to get burned now. That's all right. It's yeah, he's crispy. trying to. He's trying to kill me, guys. Nah, I'm just trying to cook her up. <laughs> That's all it is. How's <laughs> everybody doing? It's your boy Bobby <laughs> Jones once again. Uh, episode, um, I believe this is nine, guys. You probably episode lost count. Nine. Episode nine. Um. Shout out to everybody uh, watching the show uh, and supporting the show. We're up, guys. 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate the love from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. I tell you that. Um, I work really hard, and I take this very serious, guys, and I love creating content. I am a YouTube content creator, and uh, to be one year from here, it took me one year to get uh, 1,000 subscriber, guys. It was not easy. It was a journey, but I enjoy every moment of it, guys. Uh, beautiful. I woke up this morning with 1,000. I tell you what, it's just 1,000 to y'all, but to me, it's everything. It's a beautiful feeling, and um, you know, and it's more to come. It's more to come. Uh, shouts to everybody, no, families and friends. On that, 1,000 subscribers. Let's toast to that. <sighs> But let's tell them what we're drinking today, guys. We are drinking recess. Recess. Well, I don't want the ginger, ginger lime. I want the little mojitos. Watermelon mojito. What are you drinking over there? You give me the ginger. I got no choice now. Ginger so lime. Cheers to a thousand subscribers. Cheers to, subs and many cheers to more. you guys because you guys made it possible for supporting, subscribing, and liking the, um, the, the channel. Um, thank you guys. Cheers to you guys, guys. Cheers to the subscribers, to everyone who's watching, who's tuning in, who's tapping in. All those likes and comments are very well appreciated. So, yes, thank you for watching. Any that ideas that you guys want to share with us, feel free to leave it in the comment. Let us know what you guys want us to talk about. Yeah, and please, don't be, uh, don't be scared, guys. Um, you know, let's, uh, like I said, you guys having to say, leave a comment, you know. We're, we are here to talk about anything, guys, about life and, you know, anything that pops up. You guys want me to talk about anything? I'm really open. You know, um, it's all out He's there. He's gonna like, give it to you raw, guys. Like I said, uh, my life is all my life is on the line for you guys, right? So His I really life is an open book. I really have nothing to hide. And um, what you want? We should know. do those fun things where we ask each other questions. That should be on the next one. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little chilly. <laughs> I got my sweater on, but it's chilly right now. You know, um, we did plan to shoot this podcast in the daytime. But um, stuff happened, so now we... It didn't go as planned, and he was having an emotional wreck. And thanks to me, I said, you know what? It is what it is. You can't really dwell on things that don't go as planned. Sure, whatever you say, buddy. Life, things doesn't go as planned. Things never go as planned. Well, so you a, have to think well, it's of a, well, it's a, a well, it's plan supposed B. To. It's supposed to, guys. It's supposed to. But, you know... We um, all know that life isn't perfect. It is cold. We don't, things don't go as planned. We're going to so hurry, we're gonna, we we gotta, we gotta hurry this podcast we up because it's getting chilly. B. So my idea was continue to shoot the podcast. Let's do fucking bonfire style. We're here on the beach. It's amazing. 
I mean, turn up the heat a little more, if anything, or bring you it closer. You would, well, I guess burn your shoes or whatever it is. Now you want the heat up. I mean, you seem like you're shivering over there. I'm actually pretty good. I can move a little bit back because I guess the wind is coming my way. But like I said, you know what? Things don't go as planned, and you just have to make the best of it. You know, that stress doesn't do well to your mind and your body. It consumes you, and it turns you into an ugly person. You know, very moody, irritable, and unrecognizable at times. So I take it as, you know what? It is what it is. Let's make the best of it. And guess what? This idea is amazing. He has all the equipment, and now we're here. So let's talk about it. What are we talking about tonight? Let's talk about anything. Um, What's on your list of topics? Well, I... Life changes for the better when you stop waiting around for people who are unsure about you. All right. Start it off. What do you got to say about that? What is it? This, I just... You're not paying attention? <laughs> no, I thought you had like a... You're reading no, I'm not. I'm just... You see, guys, you don't pay attention us about that. You I want him to all. start off yeah. with what he thinks, yeah. and I can yeah. contribute. That's what I just did. You got to pay attention. You're not paying attention, young lady. I said life changes for the better when you stop waiting around for people who are unsure about you. Okay. So mm. you're kind of saying that people, <laughs> I don't know what you're insinuating, but let's talk about that. I mean, I feel like you have to dig deeper into what it is that person is doing, you know. So give us some examples. You're an open book. That means that uh, that mean guys that uh, you can't wait for nobody. Okay, you can't wait for nobody. You just gotta do you. You can't sit and wait because when you sit there and wait for people, you wait for stuff to happen. It's never gonna happen. I know. I, I know the subscribers you know, want some examples. It's never gonna happen. That means like, don't be unsure. You just gotta do you and forget about everybody else. Stay in your lane, and just do you. And don't believe, don't don't believe in yourself. No, you have to know. That's what I learned. Facts. You have to know about it. I feel like you have a goal. Yes, you got to work towards that goal, and not get distracted, and really filter out the ones that are really there for you and the ones that aren't. You know, sometimes we get so distracted with, with what we want so bad, we tend to push, you know, things that do matter. Because the thing is, guys, you know what? Because, um, you know, some people like to wait around for stuff to happen. But you know what? The thing is, um, not everybody's on your time. Your vision and everything is just different, you know? It's like, if you be I, I believe if you believe in something, you know for sure, you just got to go with the flow and just do you, man. You can't sit down. You can't sit down. Because not everybody can see your vision. No, they're not. And it's, it, it sucks. As long as you want to make somebody see your vision, they have to see it first. You know what I mean? Some people are like that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff that people don't see that you see. So I, all, all I'm saying is, like, don't wait around, guys. Don't wait around to do what you want to do to enjoy your life, uh, to start your journey. You just got to just go with the flow and just leave everything behind if you have to. You dig what I'm saying? Because for me, it's like I— When you I, say leave everything behind, there's certain things that you can leave behind. There's certain things you don't leave behind. You know what I mean? You're kind of talking what, what, what do you What do you don't leave behind? family okay what's your take on that i mean it is what it is sometimes if you know i mean like if your family don't see your vision or whatever the case is you know what i'm saying you can't send away you still got to do you at the end of the day you know and it just that's just what it is i mean it's called balance it is balance you gotta have it because family's family you only get one family you don't just toss it out if they're not on the same time as you. you well, you balance. don't not not toss it out, but I'm just saying like, I'm just saying like you have to go out and still do you. You need to go yeah, out. That's what they call balance. Yeah. So it's not always going to be about you, 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 you. You know, you, it's you balance it out. Pretty much, the past couple of weeks he's kind of been doing his own thing. You know being by himself and whatnot and it was kind of like putting his family on the back burner and I don't think that's okay you know what I mean because you're like on this adrenaline feeling like you're like go 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 and you're kind of leaving the people that matter behind no it's not and that's how I see it and I just feel like everybody has to have a healthy balance 
this this year has taught me not to postpone enjoyment any opportunity to enjoy take it so that means yeah. that that means like guys you know I'm hey you just got to do it you know what I mean like um I used to postpone a lot of stuff in my life guys <laughs> a lot of stuff you know where I I put it in the back end you know what I mean but this time got around I'm I am I tell you what this year has changed me. I really um, didn't postpone a lot of stuff. I really got out there and enjoyed myself and my time, and I use it wisely, very wisely, and it's just what it is. If you want to get stuff done, you have to do that. You can't postpone it. Postpone it means that you just, you're not, um, you know, like I said, you're not um, um, taking care of yourself. You know what I mean? Just like Nike, right? Just do it. Just do it. Don't put no thought into it. Just go out and do it. Plan those trips. Plan those, you know, little weekend getaways. Plan those. Remember, no one is too busy. It's not about finding time. It's about making time. If, it's really ma if it really matters, time will be made. So I so I think um, that's very true, guys. Because uh, if somebody want to be in your life, they gonna be in your life. If somebody gonna, if somebody really, they see your texts, they see your calls. If they really want to reply back, they can make time for it. So to me, it's like, um, you know what I mean. You just gotta know what to do at this point in your life. You know what I mean? Because like I said, it's like people people make time who they want to make time for. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. I agree. You sure about that? I sure do. Are you saying that I don't make time for you? I'm asking you. I agree. I want you to give me some examples. Let's be let's be real. Let's be raw. So what what are you saying? I'm saying that if our you, communication is. So I'm bad, saying that guys. you want to make time. This is not about you and me. The podcast. This is well, talking about a thing. But I feel like <laughs> what are you, some we're not. <laughs> what do you example you? I just read the thing. It's just like. It, I calls, said I agree. Texts and just yeah, time and stuff I like agree. that. If people want to make a time for you to spend time, even just watching a movie, guys. You know what I'm saying? Even just the little thing. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about big thing, but if if people want to make time for you, you know what I mean? Spend time with you. It doesn't matter how busy they are. They're going to make time for you. It's just what it is. You know? And, you know, they can say, like I said, guys, um, talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words is what they call it. Oh yes, talk. You is know what I'm saying? So though. cheap. Talk is cheap. Talk, talk is cheap. cheap. Like, you okay. know what I'm saying? Though, so it's all it, it's all about the action. It's all about the action, Captain. See, I'm a captain. I I don't just talk, guys. When I say something, excuse me. When I say something, I do it. It's just what it is. You know what I mean? It's like the only way I know how to do it, guys. I know how to keep it real. I I got to keep it real to myself to everybody else where I'm at now it's like to me if I tell you something if I love you I love you if I care for you I care for you you know what I'm saying so to me it's like it's very important for people to keep it real a lot of people you know they just don't keep it real to be honest you know what I mean and you find that through life as you go you know what I mean the friends the family your partner or whatever the case is you really find out who's real and who's not who's there for you and who's not you know it's just what it is so to me it's like I've really learned that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, no one's too busy. No one's too busy. Everybody got cell like I said, everybody got cell everybody got cell phone. You trying to tell that they're barely on the phone? They see it. They see you. It's just that you're not important to them. If you are, then you're a text away. A call away. They will show you know. They will show it. So life really taught me a lot, guys, about certain things and people and friends and no hard feeling guys. You know what I mean? I'm not mad or sad or whatever the case is. I'm more just like disappointed on certain people in my life, friends and family. I'm a little disappointed, and I'm not afraid to talk about it, and it's just what it is. You've been saying that because I expect more out of people, you know what I mean? And I'm the kind of person that if I love, I love hard, you know what I mean? If I care, I care hard. So to me, I it's more of a disappointment. I'm not mad or sad about certain people. It's just certain, you know, friends and family that I like wow wow but it is what it is guys you know what I mean it's just everybody's different you can't control that you can't control that and you just gotta um you just gotta take it how it is 
and just move on and just know now, you know what I mean? Um, you know, don't love too hard, I guess, you know? Because sometimes it turn around and bites you in the butt. And it's just, you know. I say, you know, give people the energy that you give. If you're giving loving energy, you're going to receive that back. You know, put in what put in what you expect. You're going to go all... What are you, you know, trying to say, that I, don't, that I don't give loving energy? No. Oh. It's not about us. I'm just speaking in general. Mm. Right? Isn't that what we're doing? <laughs> Um, we basically, I'm just saying, if you expect somebody to be a certain way towards you, you definitely have to bring in that energy. People only feed off the energy you provide, the energy that you give out. If you're going to give out this ugly, negative energy, disrespectful energy, you best believe you're, that's just going to come back to you. It's like a mirror, you know what I mean? And I feel like what you put in... Is what you get. So that's my take on that. You ever lost all respect for someone? Like, damn, really? That's who you really are? Yeah, I have. You know, when people show you their true characters, you really, really got to believe that. But it gets hard at times to really... You talking about me? Just say it. I ain't talking about you. <laughs> I'm just saying... Well, general. you know what, guys? I have. I lost respect for some people. I'm like, really? Damn, that's who you are? You know, and like we're, like, like we're saying, I, I mean, it's just like, it's sad. You know what I mean? Because um, like I told you, I really love and I really care, har care hard. You dig what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, um, I'm a little hurt. I'm not going to lie. I'm only human. I'm hurt sometimes, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you, you, want, you want it back. You know what I'm saying? You care for somebody. You love somebody. You know, friends or family is like you expect it back. You know what I mean? But sometime in life, you never get it back. You never get the same love back. You just you just don't. You know, it's like people, people look people look past that. You know. But you know what though? Like, I feel like yeah, you you communicate when you do have that that access to them. You communicate your feelings, but it has to be in a mature way. You know what I mean? Because it could be that person's needs aren't being met either. So they're both just being quiet. So I feel like communication is key that can solve any, any conflict. Because a lot of people just assume and go with it. Some people have too much pride and ego. They don't want to address the problem. You want to speak to the mic, please? Up. They don't want to address the problem. They don't want to bring it up. So they just go with the assumptions of what they think. And that right there will crush and ruin any relationship, a marriage, um, you know, romantic relationship, friendship, family relationships. So assumptions need to to not be made. You really want to know how that person is feeling about a certain thing? Just talk about it. There's nothing wrong with communicating. And that's the thing. A lot of people don't want to to be the first to address it or even initiate a conversation like that. But at the end of the day, if you care about that person, it has to be done. So, um, as I was saying, communication is key. But if one person is yelling and talking over the you other... You said what again? Communication is key. How come you don't have it then? You don't have it. No, I have a lot of communication. You communicate like a toddler. Hey, don't don't go there, me. See, you like the, you know you ain't got the communication, so don't go there. Tell me I... This woman, she's the, she's the biggest capper guy, I swear to God. This woman right here talking about me. I communicate, guys. I have a clear mind, so I don't know what she's talking about. She's I'm crazy. in general. Don't do this. Don't do this. To talk in a calm don't do this at Seaside. Man. We're alive right now. Don't do this. Don't try to say that I speak like a toddler or whatever the case is. That's not cool. Well, communication is key. Don't you think? I, I just said that. I'm saying and that you don't have it. There though. should be a... How do I communicate with you? That you don't communicate at all. That's the thing about that. Maybe this I do, many, this maybe many, I this, this many times that I, that, that I asked you, they made stuff clear. And you're like, you don't make it clear. You communicate, but you don't do it clear. <laughs> Somebody is just kissing her here, guys. <laughs> but it's all good. Right hey, it's Friday right night, and they're out, they're, they're out having a good time. That's what it is. Hey, how's it going, <laughs> sir? <laughs> how you doing? Like you can hear this uh, today I read something. Today I re I read something that said someone who overthink is also who overlove. 
I felt that. Because I'm not mm. going to lie, guys, I do overthink. And they say overthinking is not good. Overthinking is awful. So that's I, what they, that's that's the worst thing you can do to yourself is when you overthink. That thing will that thing will bring you down faster than anything. I'll tell you that. So that overthinking. So I try to live my life, guys. I try not to overthink at all. I just try to go with the flow. I just try to do me and tr- I what just try to. What makes you overthink, though? I want to I want to understand why someone overthinks, and how can they stop themselves from overthinking naturally so since you I don't know, are take prone some, to, I don't know take some shroom so since you overthink a lot I don't say I overthink a lot I say I overthink but yeah. I don't know a lot what makes you overthink I don't know it's just you want stuff to be perfect and you're just always just I think right there you want things to be perfect okay and who don't want to be perfect but there's in life nothing's perfect I never said it was don't put words in my mouth I'm I just saying that, that I want stuff to go the right way I didn't mm-hmm. say I want I didn't I, know, I didn't say that I everything got to be perfect I know stuff happened it's just what it is but I, at the same time I do want to uh, make sure that it goes the right way before it goes sideways it's just what it is I think that's what what makes people overthink like in your case you say you overthink because you want things a certain way or in your say perfect way well i think that's what everybody want overthink because people want stuff to go right i used to overthink honestly i would just think 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 about the situation and then it leads into another situation and it's never ending and i could be up for five hours like wide awake losing sleep because this overthinking is like a vicious cycle and it doesn't end and how do we stop ourselves from overthinking you can't stop it. It's just what you it can. is. You can. You definitely can. Is when you tell yourself, it's out of my control. It is what it is. I'm Re- gonna... Regardless, you're going to think because as human, we think. Yeah, but you have to stop yourself when it becomes You unhealthy. can't stop thinking, though. You can. I mean. You're thinking, you're thinking what to say. You're always thinking, yeah, so you can't it, stop when thinking. When it becomes unhealthy because overthinking is unhealthy. I, I know that. I'm just saying so just it's, regardless, you can, regardless, you can minimize it, but you cannot stop overthinking or just thinking, you period. do things to make yourself not overthink. Of course. Guys, it's cold right now. I'm going to Drinking up. some hot tea, you know, meditating, listening to music. Those are natural ways you can do to make yourself stop overthinking. Kind of quiet your mind. Music to me is number one. I love it. It's very soothing. It relieves my stress and anxiety. And that's one thing. When you start to see yourself overthinking and it's harming your you, you're harming your mind. And, you know, obviously stress can cause um, symptoms in your body and whatnot. And um, play some music. Go work out. Go meditate. You know what I mean? And your mind will sh- will quiet down, you know? So overthinking, everybody deals with it. Everybody has it, but you just got to learn how to kind of tune it out and find ways to naturally let it go. It's out of your control. Guys, guys, if you're looking for me, I will be somewhere. I will will be out. Sorry. I will be somewhere in between inspiring others on my grind, focus on growth and ducking bad vibes word that's where i'm at right now in life is just ducking all that hey i'm on a mission right now like like i said so it just is that's what it's all about it's all about growth i'm I'm trying to you know i'm trying to grind it out and just ducking all the bad vibes you you feel i'm saying i i I've, i've been there you know with just um all the negative energy and stuff like that so that's where i'm at I feel like having a goal is very important, and that's something you do have, you know, and just don't take your eyes off the prize, you know, continue to to do what you need to do, but yet don't sacrifice things along the way. I'm just ducking bad. I'm just ducking bad vibe, guys. All it is. You feel I'm saying? I just think bad vibes bring down your energy, lower your vibration. So I just want to find peace in my life, you know what I mean? So I want to be around people that's loving, enjoying, just laughing, just creating good memories. That's where I'm at. I want those kind of friends. I want to be around those kind of people. You dig what I'm saying? So to me, it's like, you know, that's what I'm looking for in life. That's where I'm at in life right now. It's like, 
you know, I'll, I just want to be happy. So to me, it's like, um, you know. I think everybody wants to be happy. No, not everybody. Some think, people want to be miserable. I don't think anybody wants to be you, miserable. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised. They're miserable because they just don't know how to shake themselves out of that cycle. And that's the well, thing. whatever the case is, this is this. Some people, like that, some people, is just low vibration. It's just what it is. Happy. You can't speak for everybody else. That's why people do the things they do. You know what I mean? Some people like that negative energy, and that is what excites them. They feed, some people feed off that. You gotta understand. So you can't say that. Da, 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 da. There, there are people that feed off this negative energy. You know what I mean? It's just what it is. It's sad. Maybe those people that feed off this negative energy feel some kind of empowerment. I wonder. When they do become so negative and angry and just create chaos, like, what do they get from that? Like, your blood pressure goes up, you're fucking pissed off at the world. Like, what good does that do to you? Nothing good comes out of it. You're draining yourself and you're just having this black cloud over you and it brings you down. So it doesn't, no one wins. You know what I mean? That negative energy just got to be cut out. So, guys, if you guys are wondering if um if I change or whatever the case is, or you know the people that knows me, if I got weird or whatever the case is, right? I just want to say that I'm still the same me, with the same name, just a different mindset and a new game. So, like I said, um, I'm still me, guys. Ain't nothing change. I'm on my journey. I'm on a mission. Just don't forget that I, I that I change. I only change for the better. In life, it's like you have to change for the better. You dig what I'm saying? You gotta have growth. You have you, you know what I mean you you gotta mature. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at. So don't look at me like pros, Bobby Jones, MRP. That those guys change. That he you know that he changed. No, I change for the better. I'm still the same person. I still know what everything is. You, you dig what I'm saying? I still know what family is. I still know what friend is. It's just that, you know, you got to change for the better. You have to, you have to grow sometime in life. Life is all about maturing and growing. You know what I mean? Every year, I tell myself, if I don't grow to be a better person, to grow to be a better, to be a better husband, a better dad, a better friend, then what am I doing, right? So every year, I want to better myself. So that's where I'm at, you know? I only change for the better. You can't change, you can't change for the worse, guys. Please. You cannot change for the worse. You're going backwards. I would never do that. I would never go backward because for me, it's like, you're doing it wrong. You know what I mean? No, and I feel like every year. to go forward. And I feel like every year that I get better and better, you know what I mean? It's like, you want to be the best version of yourself. Ooh, I smell something. Somebody's smoking that stank. I smell something. <laughs> My that was goodness. That's pretty strong. So, you know what I mean? Change for the better, guys, please. You know what I mean? Um, that's all I can say. You know what I mean? If something wasn't working out for you. Because I tell you what, guys, up. no cap. I feel like I'm in the one. I feel like right now I'm in the best shape of my life. And I'm only doing better and getting better. You know? And that's all it is. I feel like a new man. You know? And I have a plan. Before, before like, I didn't have a plan. But I got a plan now. And I'm sticking with it. So before, where you like felt clouded, you didn't know what you want, didn't know what to do. Well, yeah, I guess you can say that. I mean, like I said, like I you was, felt lost. I, uh, I maybe kind of like lost. You didn't have no purpose. Kind of. Well, I always have a purpose, but it just wasn't something I didn't know. I, like I said, I was. Um, like I say, God, you know, you know my story. I used, I used to love to drink and smoke, and sometimes that stuff clogged up your brain and your mind, and it just uh, stopped you from seeing certain things. I tell you what, guys. If you stop doing certain things in your life, you put the right kind of diet in your body, you start drinking alcohol or whatever the case is, right? You, to get, you gotta stop something, guys. You will see. You will see life different. That's all I can say. So I stop a lot of stuff, as you, as you guys can see, if you guys watch the, watch the channel, the show. That now I'm, I'm able to see past a lot of stuff that I, did, that I didn't see before. You know what I mean? I was blindsided. And I get it why certain people don't see it. They don't see your vision or what. They don't see it because they have to stop certain things. In order for you to see certain things, you have to stop it. It's stopping your third eye to see certain things. You know what I mean? It was blocking my, my third eye. 
now I'm able to see a lot more clear in what I want for myself and my family and in life, you know? So I think it's very important. You very know, important. you got to just stop certain things because sometimes it's just the stuff you put in your body, it keeps you from seeing the truth. Keeps you from staying focused. And. No, the truth. Oh, yeah, you want to get into that? No. <laughs> So what are you talking about? What you got in your mind? Speak so, up, young lady. Let's talk about some entertainment business. So recently I was reading about Cardi B. She was performing in You're always talking about Cardi B, my God. Is that your favorite rapper? I actually didn't. When did I last talk about her? Talk about her in offset. Oh, about the cheating thing or whatnot. But I mean I saw the video clip. Have you seen it? What? Of her throwing a microphone at her. Yes, I've seen that. It's all over a freaking throw. thing. I well, mean, somebody, damn. Well, somebody splashed water at her. Because she said, splash some water on me. Is that what she said? Yes. <laughs> so she asked to be, because it was so hot. What the, and why did she get mad for then? Because that's what I'm saying. That girl just kind of like flung her cup. And the way it, I guess, fell on her was kind of offensive. Like she got offended. Instead of splashing it, maybe like a, a mist or a spray. But her, her throw was like... Like a splash, you know, kind of like a. Oh, she was pissed. I, I seen say. that video. She was pissed. She was like this. Bah. Dude, she, she threw was that damn microphone. I don't know. Bust her. In a ch I heard she hit somebody else. It looked like she hit the girl who threw the drink no, at she her. she hit somebody else. She hit, she hit someone in the side, like it was but next to the girl. I wonder if that person's gonna press charges. They already did. It didn't. She it dropped. It dropped. Yeah. So she must have settled it. Well, no, I don't think she settled it because the person threw water at her. I think. Still though, it's just water. You asked to be. It's not water. Or well, something. I heard it was dropped. So she I don't asked know. for it. So the the fan did it, and she threw an object at her. That's an assault. So she must have paid her something. I would assume they probably just like, look, I'll just settle it. She got injured. You just don't throw or hurt anybody, especially if they're coming to see you. I mean, it's tough. I oh, mean, bathroom break. Bathroom break. All right, guys, we're back. So yeah, I guess, you know, if I was in the crowd and that happened to me, I wouldn't be too happy about it. But yeah. There is a purpose for everyone you meet. Some people will test you. Some will use you. Some will bring out some will bring out the best in you. But everyone will teach you something about yourself, both positive and negative. Relationship teach you valuable lesson. What kind of relationships? Relationship, period. Don't really matter. Friends, partners, it don't matter, but it, teaches, it, it does teach you something. And that's true. Let's talk about the ones that people news, because it seems like that seems to be a topic, a fear that people are afraid to be news. Um, I feel like if you are just met with some new friends, there's no history with that person, and they feel like they've been been wanting stuff from you then yes I could see that as someone being trying to use you but when someone has invested like years in a relationship with you you being used is not the question you know what I mean yeah but uh it don't matter it's, it, it, it matter. can still it can still happen how could it happen people use people they, all the time yeah, yeah, but it's people, just it's a sometimes sometimes they wait till you die or whatever the case is. People are I think users. People who think like that have some kind of a some kind of a fear. People are because users. That's what have they used you for though? You know, I'm not talking about me. I'm just talking about people. They use for all kind of stuff. People use them just just well, get I by. Feel like people, Human use people. It's just the so way yeah, it works. But let's check. I'm saying people who have history, friends or family. Okay. If they want to use you, how are you even associated with them for lo this long? You would have already recognized that from the get and cut them off. So that's where I don't understand. If someone, you will sense it. When someone's trying to use you, you know. But if it's been a long-term relationship, where it be romantic well, regardless or friends what it is, and family, it, regardless what it is. you would have cut that off already. You already know the shady family members that use you. You already know the ones that do ride with you. You already know it. So. Do you have any shady family member that use you? No. But I do believe that um I do believe that um that's true. I mean 
uh, you know what I mean? You meet everybody, you know what I mean, for a purpose, and some bring the best out of you, and some bring the worst out of you. It's just what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So to me, it's like, um, you know, Chilly. they say choose your um, friends wisely, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it's just what choose it is. Choose your friends wisely. Because I want to be, your... to be honest, guys, I want to be around people that bring the best out of me. I'm looking for those kind of people. Where are you at? I want somebody that's going to bring my energy up to the top. High vibration only. Not the low vibration. I don't need that. I want the high vibration. So I need, you know, friends and family that's going to push me to another level. Because in life, it's all about elevating. It's all about moving up. We're not going down. We want to move up. So you want to um, be around people that's going to lift you, you know what I mean, and bring the best out of you. I need this kind of people. You know I think what I mean? everybody kind of just rubs off each other's energy, too, though. I'm at a, I'm at a, a time now, guys, where I really recognize, you know, I'm like, you know what I mean? If I find friends or family member or just, you know, people that I meet, whatever, I really take that personal. Like, if you're doing something good for me, I see that. If you're bringing the best out of me, I see that. So to me, it's like, you know what I mean? I want to be around those people. You know, I enjoy it. I know what kind of friends I want to be around now. And, and they're saying, like, your energy is not, don't waste your energy for everybody. Not everybody, they say, not everybody deserve your energy. Facts. Not everybody deserves your energy. If you got to get high vibration energy like me, I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm not saying I'm perfect. But I know I'm, I got the high vibration. You know what I mean? That's, what, that's the type of time I'm on. So I want to be around people like that that's going to bring the best out of me. You feel what I'm saying? And not going to bring the best out of them. We feed off each other. So, um, you know what I mean? You got to cherish those, those kind of people. You, you got to keep those people, you know, next to you. Very important. But I do feel like everybody rubs off each other's energy. That's, that's really important as well. You know, good vibes, you get good vibes. Bad vibes, bad vibes. What you, what you bring into the table. Your character will outweigh any lies told about you. Those that know you, know you. I already felt this one here. You, also, feel, you, you dig what I'm saying? I already felt this one. Your reputation, reputation lasts a lifetime. Because, you know, people are going to talk bad about you. People are going to say things. You know what I mean? When you're not there to other people. And if somebody really knows you, they know you ain't like that. You, you dig what I'm saying? So to me, I think it's very important. Like, it's not very important, but, you know, like I said, your character is everything. You dig what I'm saying? So no and, matter. And the good thing is, you know, people can talk all they want. But the people who really knows you, know you, will know that you ain't like that. So there's no need to, you know, feed into that type of energy. People are going to talk. But the people who really know you, know how you are, who's been around you, will already know that oh, that's false. He ain't like that. Or she ain't like that. You know what I mean? You could say all kinds of shit about someone. But the people who really know you will know the truth. You know what I mean? So your character is is, is very, very important. And you know what, guys? I'm confident in my character. I have nothing to hide. I'll talk about anything. You know what I mean? I'm confident in my own skin. You do what I'm saying. So to me, it's like, I'm not worried what anybody's going to say about me, talk about me, talk about me all you want. I'm good. As long as I know, not anybody else, as long as I know about myself that I'm good, I'm good. You dig what I'm saying? But it's just How what it is. How are you? Rate yourself. About How what? happy are you as a whole? Hold on. i got to see what's going on over here. Oh, 10% left. All right. All right. This last is the last part. topic. So rate yourself. What do you mean rate myself? Rate yourself as... A husband, a father. Rate what? What do you mean rate? rate? You said that you're really good. So like, good what? Do you what? Think, like rate yourself. Like how are you? What one to ten? Like where do you fall as a husband on that scale? One being a poor ass husband, ten being the best husband. I ever. don't know. I think. I want you to just rate yourself. You know what? That's something that you gotta freaking. That's something you gotta rate. I can't rate myself. No, I just wanna know what you think of yourself. Yeah, you can rate yourself. You know, an honest opinion. Okay, so what do, you, what, do you want, what do you want me to rate? Just told you, just rate how are you as a husband, the way you, um, do, the I, way you treat 
and the way you are and how you well that the, how well, you well the thing is it it changes all the time so are you talking about just a husband a father a what husband. Are you about? we're talking about the husband first then the father then a friend we're not with a husband um to me it changes okay it changes, Where you know what I mean? It's like if, if 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 I'm not feeling your vibe or whatever the case is, then f- of course I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a jackass. And jack by jackass, you know what, I mean? what it, is that scale? It, it's number just look what it is. Like? Jackass is gonna be the low. What do you think? It's gonna be like the so low end. It's gonna the, be a low ball. The worst husband You're getting ever. a low ball. So the worst husband. Uno dos tres. So it was zero. Uno dos tres. I mean, you're being honest. It's just what it is. So if you're gonna be good on my, you, if, if we're good, then of course I'm a ten. What am I doing wrong? I'm not doing nothing wrong. I'm just doing me. I am, you know what I mean? I'm in the best shape of my life. It's like, there's nothing You're that I do wrong. You're the best shape of your life. I'm in the best shape of everything that I do. I don't do anything. You know, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a gambler. I don't do parties. I don't do nothing. I'll just go to work but and it, come home and spend time with my family. just that, though. It's not what just do you want? What, what, what do you want? No, like what do you want? What do you want? Tell me what do you want. Obviously, if I'm if I'm not satisfying you, obviously you need something else. No, what do you want? We're good. We're good. No, what do you want? Tell the people so they know. What do you want? What do you want? If, 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 if I'm if I'm doing it's not enough for you, relationship. If I'm doing it's not enough for you, you tell what they want over there. Tell them. Go. I'm just asking. What do you rate yourself? I just said that. I just said uh, uno dos tres. What's uno dos tres? One, That's two, with the three? low ball. That's the low ball. You gotta pick one number. As How's it going, ball? sir? <laughs> it's a podcast. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> No, no, yeah, we're just recording. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm, of course, if I'm good, it's going to be a 10. Of course. I mean, of course, um, yes, he ain't lying. Okay, like so. zero when it comes to the worst husband ever, ever. If I'm not doing my job, tell them right now that I'm not doing job. Tell them. He yells. I'm not scared. I'm yell guy. I yell guy because I am frustrated, guys. This woman, He's irritable. He's fucking this woman frustrates me sometimes. I, <laughs> it's like she don't get it, so I have to yell. She don't get it sometimes. Like, I guess I'm pretty patient, guys. You know what I mean? Work outside of work. The only person that can just drive me crazy and bring uh, bring the um, anger out of me is this woman right here. She just don't get it. You know what I mean? So it's hard. I, I get frustrated. I try to be patient. I don't. That ain't a good thing. <laughs> That is not a good thing. What's that not I, a good thing? Like that, you know, when I was just how you were saying, like I bring the worst out of you. Well, you do. You don't see that? I fucking seen it. It's fucking. I just want to put a bag over his head. <laughs> put a bag over your head. <laughs> <laughs> fucking psycho. But you know, I mean, yeah, no one's perfect. But I feel like what's important is we 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 don't stop trying to be better. You know, everybody can 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 work on themselves you know their delivery their communication skills you know and i feel like when needs are not met when needs are not met by the partner people get a little frustrated they kind of bottled it in and they don't talk about it so open communication is very important i feel like hey if someone can address it to be like hey you know when you do this to me this is how it makes me feel but you know in a perfect world that probably would happen but in this case we gotta hurry and wrap this thing up guys guys we gotta wrap this party up Uh, it's getting late over here guys thank you for watching thank you for watching on what we talk about podcast show we are a seesaw orient guys i hope you guys like the vibes tonight um, Let us know what you guys think of a podcast of the bonfire. Shouts to everybody watching. Love, peace, and happiness. Um, thank you for the 1,000 sub- 1, subscriber that subscribed to the channel, man. Really appreciate it, guys. Love and peace. Um, until the next episode, take care of yourself and love yourself. All right, guys. Peace out. Cheers.
I like this that I, I 